Hi guys and welcome to my first vlog of 2014. A happy new year to all of you. I hope you all had a great Christmas and a new year. For today's vlog I am going to be doing my 2013 favourites. Um, there was a lot of favourites throughout the whole year of 2013. So I've narrowed them down to 13 items. I just thought maybe that would go quite well with the whole sort of saying goodbye to 2013. So 13 items I thought would match the whole thing. So first I am going to start with my first favourite and this is a bun maker. That's it there. You probably would have already seen it in some of my blogs that I've already done. Um, I bought this in Henny's there I think around three or four months ago and I have been wearing it in my hair since. Um, it just creates a perfect bun in your hair and it's really good for like only one year fifty. Um, you can get these I think in brown and a creamy colour as well. But I had to get in black to match my hair colour. So um, you do have a selection. But I do have to say, I would definitely recommend them if you want to create um, a nice bun in your hair. So that's definitely one of my favourites for 2013. Next then is this body butter from I Love. It's coconut and cream. That is it there. I got this for my birthday in November. Um, and I have been using it since. As you can see, there's not really that much left. Um, so that is definitely another favourite of mine. Um, next, this is yet again another thing you might have already seen in some of my vlogs. Um, this is from Halo. They are eye makeup removal pads. That is them there. And um, these are brilliant for removing mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadow. Um, remove them in a split second. I'll just show you one there. Um, they just come like that. They're just a normal circular pad and they just remove your eye makeup really really quick so um, I definitely recommend buying them as well that's another favourite next then is these two blushers um, I bought these at an event in June um, I think it was just before the uh, Flora Marathon I bought these and um, I bought two different ones and the first one then is number 54 Rose Frisian, Frisian? Frosted Rose Sorry, 54 Frosty Rose. That is it there. So it's like a real sort of a light sort of pink shade. Um, I've been using that um, all the time. As you can see, there's not much left of it. Then the next one is number 22, Tomet Dior. Um, that's it there. It's sort of like a darker sort of uh, pinky colour it is. Um, I've been also using that as well. Because sometimes what I do, I tend to do a two-tone on the blusher where I apply the darker shade first, um, just to my cheek bone first, and then I apply the lighter pink just on the cheeks, just to give a two-tone colour. Next then um, is another thing, another item that you probably would have already seen in the vlogs. Um, this is from Natural. Um, it's Beeswax Lip Care. Um, I have this in my bag all the time. This has Worked wonders, worked wonders on my lips and um, throughout the whole of the winter. Um, this it has, contains vitamin E, so it's really really good for your lips and um, keeps them lovely and soft. So yeah, that's another favourite uh, for 2013. And um, next then is the Happy Feet um, Petty Foot. Is the Foot Petty Care? Paddle, yeah, that's it. I think paddle, that's it. There, and um, this is really, really good. This is the way it has sort of the actual brush, and then it has then the file as well on it. So that's really, really handy to have. It is, and um, I think I got that in done stores there, could have been around six months ago. I don't know, it's been so long. Check on the vlogs, um, at the vlogs, actual blog, stylish and fabulous at blogs.com, um, to find out when I got that. Like, I think they still sell them, so. You might be lucky if you're interested in getting one. Um, do check out your local dump stores um, for that. Um, so that's made my favourite list as well. Um, next is something that I got for Christmas. Um, I'm yet to do my actual Christmas vlog yet. So I am getting around to it. Um, next week it should be uploaded. So I'm just going to show you this anyway because I got this for Christmas. But I actually have been using it since. And it is from perfect colour. It's the ultimate colour palette. That is it there. Um, it also comes with uh, lip glosses as well. So that is it there. Um, I have been using some of the colours um, so this has made my favourites um, of 2013. Um, the colours are 
really really nice that is the set that's all them there so um they have like brown blue pink a lighter pink color and the lip glasses are really good too so um i will be giving a review on this and on some of the christmas gifts that i got so um i'm just going to leave that from there so that's made my 2013 favorites list as well and um, next um is another christmas present as well that i got um Audrey Hepburn, it's the Audrey in Rome book, that is it there, I got that as a Christmas present, this is absolutely gorgeous, a beautiful, beautiful present, it has lovely pictures, it's like a whole load of photography, um, of her, sort of the styling and everything, um, of her, um, beautiful, beautiful pictures and illustrations of it, um, I will go into more further detail on this in my Christmas, um, vlog, so, um, I will showing you this but I got that anyway as a Christmas present I have read over it and I've looked at the pictures and as Audrey Hepburn is my ultimate style icon and um, I was absolutely delighted with it so that's also made my favourite to 2013 as well and um, also as well you would have already seen this in the other vlogs as well and um, is the actual breakfast at Tiffany's Audrey Hepburn perfume um, as you can see, yeah, there's not that much left of it. Um, need to get myself another one. This this absolutely gorgeous per perfume. It's a real sweet and sort of fruity sort of scent off it. So um, yeah, that's made my uh, 2013 favourites as well. Um, next then, this is something um new as well. Um, these pair of boots. These have also made my 2013 favourites. I got these in Tesco from the the F and F range. Um I can't actually think of the actual name for F and F. Can't think. But anyway, got them anyway. They have a gold sort of zip detail at the back. You might be able to see it because this room is so dark. Um, and also the real sort of nice heel detail on it as well. And they are in a brown colour as well. So they've also made my favourites as well. They were only twenty four euro so that wasn't bad. A reasonable price for a pair of boots. Um, next then is yet another thing that you might have already seen in my blog, my beautiful bag, my tote bag from Julian MacDonald. I bought that in Debenhams, um, I think I bought that a couple of months back. So um, as you can see it's uh, fairly heavy and it's fairly full with a lot of stuff and need to do a bit of a clean out. Um, I got that for, I think I got that for €48 Euro, um, in the Blue Cross sale in Debenhams. So, um, yeah, that's definitely my favourite, one of my favourites for um, 2013 as well. And what comes now is my last favourite of 2013. And yet again, it's another Christmas present. And it is this gorgeous diamond heart necklace, which I got as a present for Christmas. I haven't had it off me since. I've been wearing it all the time. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, as you can see, um, probably the best present uh, for Christmas. So anyway, that is it for my 2013 favourites. Um, it's goodbye and farewell to 2013 and a big hello to 2014. A lot of exciting stuff to come um, in the next couple of months, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys. So um, anyway, yeah, that is it for today's vlog i hope you all enjoyed it let me know what you thought um of my favorites also check out my twitter facebook pinterest and instagram accounts pages accounts i call them accounts pages for um a lot more so until then stay stylish and fabulous and i'll talk to you again in the next one bye